Okay, I was inspired to make this video by mentioning this so much in my Twitch chat. People coming in saying, uh, Gomer, who, who's your wild card? Hey man, who, who are you going to pick as your wild card? It's got to be Chipper, right? Who, who else would he pick? Uh, we got things to talk about. Leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're going to be here for a little bit. So, wild card has not been explained properly at all, apparently, and uh, to myself as well. Come the first day of launch, I was not correct on my assumption of how the wild card works. We're gonna clear some stuff up today. So, point blank and simple, let's just make it clear. There's seasons this year, right? On season three is the first time that you're gonna notice restrictions. It's gonna get a little contractual right here. Uh, they're strong arming you and uh, making some cards not usable for you. You see the date July 7th is when set one cards are excluded from rank seasons, certain conquest maps, and certain mini seasons. It's still usable for play versus computer, events, everything else that I didn't mention right there. So you can use core cards set two and then by season three, the cards that are actively coming out for that active set, right? And they advertise that you get a wild card. I'm sure you've seen it right here. What's this? The wild card allows you to pick a card from a set to use on your ranked lineup. And uh, what everybody would think, or a lot of people would think in my comment section and my Twitch chat, is that you have to pick one and that's it. You know, it's essentially, okay, I wanna pick 99 Mike Trout, everybody else gets the Thanos snap. They're gone, you can no longer use them for ranked seasons, you made your choice, you better fucking live with it. That's not the case. I mean, it literally says right here, uh, FAQ, the facts. Once I pick a wild card, can I change it? Yes, you can change your wild card at any given time. What happens when I overwrite it? When you choose to overwrite a wild card, the previous wild card is replaced with your best eligible card automatically. So that's just talking about if you were to uh, pick Trout and then sell Trout, you know, it just moves your wild card somewhere else, which that's, that's what's happening here. You can move your wild card at any given point. So come season three, once set one cards are excluded, you can still use any card that you want that is a set one with the caveat being that you can only use one at any given time. So you've got to share the love. You can swap as much as you please every single game. Uh, if you want to just use it on Babe Ruth the entire time, you can. But if you get tired of using Babe Ruth or let's say... I don't know, we get a badass Hank Aaron that comes in the game that you like a little bit better. Okay, now maybe third base is a little thin and you can swap that wild card to use Mutataka Murakami or maybe it's gonna be a starting pitcher. Now, the one thing for starting pitchers that I'll talk about here is uh, stamina. You know, if you were to choose Roki Sasaki or any starting pitcher for that matter as your wild card, you kinda have to use them for a little bit because if you were to use them for one game, then swap in uh, Manny Machado as your wild card, the next one. You're not going to regen stamina for Roki Sasaki. So if the plan is that you want to pick a certain starter that you really, really like, you got to use your wild card and just kind of store them back in your rotation to regen your stamina. So if you were planning, if you've really been liking a certain starting pitcher, I don't know how you could. It's impossible to fucking pitch on this game. Uh, but on the off chance that you do like a certain starter or any certain pitcher uh, you'll have to find a way to regen stamina and that can only be done throughout like uh, rank seasons for example you're going to regen it by playing rank season so you got to go throughout that process but yes that is how wild cards work it is not nearly as authoritarian as some people have claimed. Like, oh my god, I can't believe those bastards at SDS would only let us use one card. You know, we'd have to be able to know somehow how the future of the content's going to run the rest of the game cycle. Uh, you have to choose one card and you like it, for better or for worse. No, you can swap it at any given time. So, uh, a shorter video, but I felt like this had to be... Uh, it just had to be addressed because I've been seeing this so much and I'm not disappointed in y'all at all I'm disappointed in SDS because um, yes, I guess in the FAQs there it does make it semi clear 
but uh, still it leaves room for interpretation and certainly in their pre-developer live streams, uh, they definitely were pretty vague on how that was gonna work because myself, a lot of my friends who are very, very deep in the waters of um, MLB The Show know an unhealthy amount of stuff about it also thought it worked in that specific way so swap around your wild card as you please and again it's going to be a while until you even have to worry about that uh pretty much the all-star break is really when you're going to see things start to happen so i hope that cleared things up uh i hope if you guys did not know that uh you were in a better spot so you can plan ahead better you don't have to sell off your entire team once that date hits uh it's not going to be the purge of your lineup uh if, if you wanted to it still could be i guess because yeah you only get to use one card we'll talk about that at a later date but again you can still use them in events which i think is a big thing too i see a lot of people like be pretty upset about the restrictions when i know that they've told me that they do not play ranked i mean events always has its certain stipulations right like right now it's awards charisma live series which there's basically no award series cards in the game currently so it's you might as well just call it charisma and live series at this point and yeah just like any other event there's going to be ones that cycle charisma cards you can use any set one charisma card that you earn or maybe it might be retro finest or something like the chipper jones and you can use him there so it, you don't have to just completely get rid of your team but we'll talk about that once we get closer but i hope you guys enjoyed this one leave a like as always subscribe to the channel would highly appreciate joining the gomer simpson army and uh yeah i appreciate you all for watching you guys have a good one